Now, when we deal with these circuits, we often find that the resistor value we have calculated doesn't exist, or we simply don't have it in stock. So we can combine resistors to get the value we need. For example, if we wanted a 200 ohm resistor, we could place two 100 ohm resistors in series, or we could place two 50 ohm resistors and a 100 ohm resistor. The resistor values will just add together in series, which makes it very easy to increase the resistor value. To reduce the resistor value, we simply place them in parallel. Then we do some maths to find the equivalent resistance. Let's say we have two 10 ohm resistors. We can calculate that using this formula. This is much easier than it looks. We just enter this into our calculator and we see it gives us 5 ohms of equivalent resistance. So two 5 ohm resistors will give us 2.5 ohms of total resistance. A 200 ohm and a 50 ohm resistor will give us 40 ohms of resistance and three 10 ohm resistors would give us 3.33 ohms of resistance. How can we tell the value of a resistor? Well, these colored stripes on the body will tell us the value, but we will need to look it up on a chart. We can get four or five band resistors typically. So let's look at some examples of these. With the four stripe type, the first two stripes are the digits which we combine. The third stripe is the multiplier, and the fourth stripe is the tolerance. For example, this four band resistor is brown, black, brown, and gold. Band one is equal to one. Band two is equal to zero, giving us 10. Band three is the multiplier, which is 10. So 10 multiplied by 10 is 100 ohms. Then the gold is the tolerance of 5%. So it could be as low as 95 ohms, or it could be as high as 105 ohms. When I measured this one with a multimeter, we can see it was reading 98.2 ohms, which is within the tolerance. So we saw that the previous resistor wasn't very precise. If we need more precision, then we will need to use a smaller tolerance, like this 1% tolerance 5 band type. With this type, the first three stripes are digits. The fourth is the multiplier. The fifth is the tolerance. This one is orange, orange, black, black, brown. So this is a three. This is a three. This is a zero with a multiplier of one, giving us just 330 ohms. The tolerance is 1%. So it could be between 327 ohms and 333 ohms. But when I measured this one with a multimeter, we can see it was reading 329.9 ohms. So it's perfect. Okay, that's it for this video. But to continue learning about electronics and electrical engineering, check out one of the videos on screen now and I'll catch you there for the next lesson. Don't forget to follow us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, LinkedIn, and of course, theengineeringmindset.com.